Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of Legends. Today we are playing Steel Guardians 53 uh, Ramp Rage Redoran, and uh, it's based off um, Ramp Rage Warrior, of course, and it has a couple of new additions, um, mostly in life gain, and card drawing mechanisms, and um, why not to point out more life drain. <laughs> so let's start right after that to uh, to analyze the deck a bit. So we've got Rapid Shot and Barrel Stalker, very important for card drawing and uh, for early survival. Uh, Ravenous Hunger, that's well used with Rage on turn, uh, actually on 10 Magicka, you can clear a, an entire lane, uh, basically. Uh, you've got Squish, Squish the Wimpy, your basic um, Defile of Shenanigans, Sword of the Inferno, Crusader's Assault, Galen, uh, Golden Initiate, uh, the new addition for Redoran, Indral Mastermind, Quicksilver, Crossbow for gaining that extra magic with Archie and Venom Tongue, Treeminder for more um, magic again, Edict of Azura, good removal, always must include in Redoran decks, Emperor's Blade, good survival, can uh, also gain HP uh, on Slay effects, uh, Defiler for bringing back stuff from the dead. His Groove, uh, it's very good. If uh, you're ramping up quickly, you can over uh, overpower your enemy by um, spawning on uh, 15 Magicka, uh, 2 8 8 Leviathans. Um, Inspiring Kingsman, it's the single card that keeps uh, uh, the deck into Redoran, into Tricolor. Uh, it's very good if you want if you can if you can keep it alive and you can just buff stuff uh, systematically. Uh, Merchant's Camel, more Tongue, Nightblade to gain um, zero cost uh, actions. That's very useful. Even Hot Oracle for more drain. Piercing Javelin for safe removals. And he was starting with uh, single creatures, uh, mostly because they are uh, big clunky stuff, and you can just bring them back. In case, well, uh, except if you, they are cast into time, then you can't bring them back, of course. Uh, we've got Child of Hussein, uh, Chichiro the Betrayer for more card drawing, Night Shadow only one copy, or near a Necromancer to bring back whatever you like and to use it uh, to your liking. Thadden, Duke of Mania to draw more cards, Undying Dragon for more life drain, Blurgan Giant for uh, removal of those nasty, nasty. Um, supports and to um i don't know say for example your opponent spawns a dark seducer you just uh, toss that right up uh, back in your opponent's hand unstoppable rage three copies vigilant giant and blood magic lord uh and we've got the red year to clear the the board in case you're playing against something that is out of control and snowballing um, iraq to steal whatever you like <laughs> very useful and of course iron h &R. This is the bomb against um, against tribunals and action-based decks. Of course, if it gets silenced and removed, uh, you just hope it doesn't get cast into time, uh, because if it's removed, you can just bring it back using your uh, Defiler. So, this is the deck. Uh, I think uh, um, it's pretty decent and it's pretty good. It's got uh, the right cards uh, from Will Power, that's a yellow. And let's uh, let's hop on in uh, and test it a bit, shall we? Okay, and uh, excellent. We got uh, a good starting hand. I have replaced um, a card with Tear because I think Tear has uh, quite a good advantage, being a uh, five attack for defense uh, and breakthrough and also good for survival this red one we're fighting against have, we have no idea what uh, what kind of build this is it could be uh, conscription in in which case uh, we might have a little bit of fun when conscription hits and uh, we start uh, <laughs> we start draining 
Interesting. Yeah, I'll trade for that. So ravenous hunger. Uh, I also use ravenous hunger in conscription veterans. And for his blade, it could be a mid veteran or a, a mid veteran with rage. So. Let's uh, let's uh, get rid of that with Edict of Azura. There's no need to uh, to play anything else. We're waiting on something that we can use with Archie and Venom Tongue. Tree Minder. Yeah, this could be a conscription. Damn it! I still don't know. <laughs> well, we've got uh, we've got an unstoppable rage. Let's play it here. My opponent has ramped pretty well, should I say. Archin Venom Tongue. Quicksilver Crossbow. Well, guess what, guys? <laughs> we are playing a mirror match. Uh, not only my opponent is playing Redren, but he's also playing, you guess it, Ramp Rage Redren. <laughs> what are the odds? Defiler on board. But with nothing to trade in with. Mm. I will play. I will play my Archie Venom Tongue. I really need to slay something and get some magic out of this. Reminder. Wow, my opponent is ramping pretty damn well. <laughs> Already sitting at 11 magic at one line. I'm at 7. <laughs> and Javelin takes care of the Arching Venom Tongue. And now it comes. <laughs> Squish the Wimpy finds his way in my hand a little bit too late. I will play uh, for Crusader Defiler, and I will uh, trade in, actually, Squish the Wimpy, sorry, uh, get an Archie Venom Tongue back. Even though my opponent has ramped quite well, uh, his cards, uh, he, his, he, the, car, the number of cards in his hand is pretty, pretty low. Indoor Mastermind. Oh, this is, uh, this is an excellent setup. <laughs> okay, what could he bring back? Oh, that's, that's big and nasty. We've got Edict. We've got Edict. We can keep Edict and get rid of that, uh, Night Mother. Iron Aetrena. I've got nine Magicka. If I slay everything, it's not going to help me that much, will it? I only have like Three creatures. And if I use rage, uh, I will miss out on one creature. <laughs> so I won't use rage with uh, Falkroot Defiler, but I will use Falkroot Defiler to, to trade into the other Falkroot Defiler. And I will be getting Archie Venom Tongue. And use rage with that. Yeah. Some good magic again. We've got one more unstoppable rage in hand. 
And we are going to be 13 Magicka. Piercing Javelin again. Opponent is really, really bleeding up cards. No card drawing mechanism so far. Yeah, you go ahead and heal up. Because I will be laying down Iron Atrona. And I'll lay it down into the shallow, uh, shadow lane. Uh, if I lay it down into the field lane, I risk my opponent uh, gaining enough magicka to trigger to trigger the blood elder. I don't want that, so I'll just uh, put iron atrona. Let's see you trade into that. <laughs> Don't tell me Dark Sedusa is going to be uh, laid down. No. Rapid shot. Oh. <laughs> and because Rapid Shot can't target R and H and R. Opponent decided to, <laughs> uh, to play it on the Blood Elder. Okay, I'll draw another card. Oh, that is. That is amazing. I've got 14 Magicka. And I can draw so many cards. <laughs> and I'll Unstoppable Rage. And I've drained for a lot. Okay, please don't overdraw. Oh, <laughs> I overdrew a, uh, a Quicksilver crossbow. That's okay. I can hit face. They did a pretty decent, decent job. <laughs> I'm back in the game. Oh, Night Talon Lord. Ah, don't tell me that squished a wimp in his hand. No. Sword of the Inferno, and he's going to aim. Yep, going to aim for the um, Ravenous Hunger. Now, how to deal with those? Well, for instance, I can use uh, Edict of Azura. And with the uh, edict to use on the Night Talon Lord. Hmm. If I use Squish the Wimpy and trade into the Night Talon Lord, I won't be giving up uh, these, these many cards. Now, can I go for lethal? Uh, I don't think so. So I'll just remove that. And play Bulgarian Giant. Goodbye, Night Mother. <laughs> and I won't hit. I'll just skip the turn. Two cards in hand. What could possibly go wrong? Indral Mastermind. There's no way that uh, that the Iron Age Rock can die. Unless that's a Rage in his hand right there. Nope. Wrong again. Well, I guess this is uh, this is a, an excellent win against a mirror match. Prophecy, yeah, it can be <laughs> javelin, it can be whatever my opponent wants. It's not going to hit Iron Atonok anytime soon. So yeah, the game is over. Going in for lethal, mummify. Yep. <laughs> Well, Steel Guardian 53, I can say this deck is pretty damn good. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.